Hey, it's Quinn, your favorite plumber, here today with Dave Mize, our certified drain cleaning expert. Today we're gonna look at the different types of clogs you may run into, snaking versus jetting, pros and cons, and the different types of heads we recommend using for those clogs. And uh, Dave has a handlebar mustache, so you know you can trust him. <laughs> let's get started. All righty, let's start with this first clog here. Dave, what do we have going on here? Well, our first thing we have on our training assembly here is what's called a soft plug. A lot of times they're on your larger four inch line after it leaves the house. And what happens is say grease or maybe even an imperfection of the pipe starts to catch material. The soft materials such as toilet paper, uh, especially flushable wipes, they'll catch in there and start to build up and build up and pretty soon they make a dam. The water will slowly work its way through that dam but the solids, the, the papers, that kind of material will stay and eventually clog the line. So Dave, when would you use a snake versus a jetter on this first plug, the soft plug? Well, what happens is when the snake goes through, it bores a hole and then the material will seal itself back up and then you've got the clog again. So on a soft, soft plug specifically, we want to use the jetter so it will actually clean the clog out, clean the pipe, and so you have a fresh, clean surface in there so it can't reseal and cause you another backup. All right, and we got some different types of jetter heads here. Um, some of the most common and some specialty. Dave, do you wanna walk us through the different heads and what they're used for? Sure, let's start with the most basic. Uh, this is just a cleaning head. You just basically push it down the line and then draw it back slowly and it will clean the line out. A little bit more aggressive head is a penetrator. If you can see the hole in the front of that, what that will do is put a very uh, aggressive forward jet. It will run into the clog, poke a hole through the clog, the jet will follow it through the clog, and then it also has backward facing jets, drag it through the clog and clear the clog out. Another head we have here, these two are grease heads. If you can see it, the brass piece on these heads actually rotates. And so what it does, these are specifically for cleaning grease out of the line. So you put it in the line, these spray perpendicular and they just clean the line out of the pipe, scour the grease out. And then we may have to follow it that with another cleaning head, but these are specifically for grease. This is a ice head. Uh, in Southern climates, you'll probably never ever see this. We're in a Northern climate, so we do get frozen lines. This is designed to actually slam into an ice blockage. Our jetter has hot water. So we run hot water pressurized through this head, has forward and rearward facing jets. So it comes in and hits the ice dam and we actually slam it into the ice, break up the ice, and then the backwards facing jets clear the, clear the ice out of the line. Another one is a leader. This leader is designed to go around key traps, etc. cetera. It, it bends around the trap and then causes the, the head and the line to follow it. So that way we can get around awkward places in your piping. This is Mr. Nasty. Oh yeah. This is a warthog head. This spins, is high velocity, and will clear some incredible clogs. It really can do a lot of damage if you're not careful. However, when you need it, there's nothing like it. It will clear blockages that are just impacted like you would not believe. All right, which one would you use for the soft plug? Now we have some options on a soft plug. Because we need to get through the soft plug to clean it, a lot of times we'd start with the penetrator, which we talked about. The penetrator will, will poke a hole through the soft plug, you get to the other side of it, and then you can slowly clean it back through and clear the plug. Now, if we have space and if it looks like the proper time, we will use Mr. Nasty on a soft plug. Which is called a warthog. The, the brand name is oh, a warthog. Okay. So, there, and there's several brands of this, but uh, we really like this. It really does a great job. What it does is it gets aggressive with that soft plug, tears it into pieces, gets it down the line. We then clean the line out and everything's good to go again. So what are we gonna use on this one? I think we'll give Mr. Nasty a shot. All right, let's do it.
Now, as you can see, the warthog, what we like to call Mr. Nasty, cleaned that really bad soft plug out of the pipe, cleaned the pipe to the point where it actually took some of the discoloration that the sun has caused on my clear pipe. That's how clean it gets this pipe. No more problem, no more backups, everybody's happy. All righty, so here's our next clog. What do we have here, Dave? This is more of a standard utility sink problem. What we run into is a lot is painter's rags, the blue shop towels, flushable wipes, things of that nature that really right. shouldn't go down a drain. Uh, it's called a flushable wipe. Why isn't it allowed to be flushed? Well, it can be flushed, <laughs> but it is it does not degrade like you would think it does. Yeah. It is really the bane of the plumbing world. Uh, if you live in a city, I'll guarantee your city spends hundreds of thousands of dollars a year just dealing with that at the treatment plant. So please, don't flush flushable wipes. <laughs> Let's talk snaking versus jetting. Could I start with a snake here, standard sewer snake? Now on this one, a sewer snake possibly could do the job. You send a retriever head down, sometimes it can grab the wipes, grab the shop towels, you can pull them out and you're good to go. However, what can happen is you send the snake down and then it just tears that material up. The material kind of disintegrates a little bit. You can't get it all out. You're running back and forth, back and forth, putting a lot of time of energy into it and you're just not getting it done. So sometimes jetting really is the way to go on these. Now this clog is fairly standard. So we're just gonna start with a penetrator. It's got the forward facing nozzle, which will poke a hole through the clog. After the head gets through the clog, we're gonna drag it back through the clog and clean it out. Now, sometimes with the penetrator, just going through it forward will clear the clog all by itself, and we won't have to do very much more to get your pipe clean and clear. Now, as you can see what that penetrator did, it went right through those shop rags, bored a hole, and then drug it back out the pipe with the cleaning head. So it's pretty impressive what that did to that really nasty wipes and shop towel clog. Tore it up, drug it out, cleaned the pipe, we're good to go again. All righty, and our last clog here, what do we have and where, where do you find this type of clog? Now this clog is a grease clog, and we've got the line that's been coated in grease, so the line actually needs to be cleaned out so this problem doesn't continue. In residential, we find this in kitchens sometimes, especially if you're dumping bacon grease, things like that down your line. People think that a garbage disposal will take care of that, however it won't. So please, throw your grease in the garbage, don't put it down the line, because this is what can happen. Now on this grease clog, we've got a two-part clog, so we have to do two things. One, we're gonna clear the clog. So we're gonna grab our penetrator, put it up against the clog, and actually poke a hole through that clog, clear the clog out of our way. After we do that, we're gonna switch heads to our grease head, which if you remember, the grease head turns, sprays perpendicular to the pipe, and actually will clean that grease out. So we're gonna clear the clog, and then we're gonna clear the grease, clean the line, and then we can move on. Start with the penetrator head? Exactly, we're gonna punch this through first real quick and then move on with another head. Okay, so as you can see, Dave was able to clear the clog out from the line, but there's still remaining grease residue. So what are you gonna do about that? Now the next thing we're gonna do, since we got our clog gone, is we're gonna grab our grease cleaner head. And this is the one that runs just perpendicular to the pipe with its spray, just to clean grease. That's specifically what this head is for. We've got our clog gone. We're gonna clean out this residual pipe, and we'll be good to go. And why would you wanna clean out this grease? Why not just leave it? If we don't clean out that last bit of grease, your problem is gonna come back right away. What happens is the grease goes in warm. It, the second it touches the pipe, it starts to cool down. So all of this grease that we left would grab that new grease, 
build the clog. We'd be back here in a couple weeks trying to fix it for you again. Alrighty, in summary, we cleaned three different types of clogs, snaking versus jetting, and uh, reviewed some different heads used. So, Dave, this sounded like a PSA for jetting. Um, what are the, the pros to snaking, or when would you snake instead of jetting? That's a really good question. I'd like to say, this is not, I'm not saying, hey, never, never snake, only jet. There's all sorts of times when you really need to snake and not jet inside a building. Maybe you can't introduce water to where you're at. So you can't jet, you have to snake. Some clogs just clear better with snakes. Sometimes roots clear better with a snake. What you really need to do is call a professional who's trained and knows what tool to use in which situation. They'll get it right, they'll clear your pipes, and you can move on with your life. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, post them below. We'll try to get to them. Uh, make sure you like us, and if you like more mustache content, make sure you subscribe. On oh, ladies, I am married, sorry. <laughs>